guys, welcome to SFDC Developers channel. Myself, Vinay Varnekar. This is the first time I have uh, turned on my webcam, and probably you see me for very first time. Let's move further. So today in this video, I will show you uh, an application where you can uh, secure a particular record of an object. In this case, it's account object. I have built the application on. So owner can secure that particular record from the access uh, of other users. So currently uh, I logged into my personal org and if you can see the sharing setting of account and contact, contacts is set to public read only. That means record is available by all the users but it's it can be only edited who own that particular record or also if there are any sharing rules present in the org. So right now there are no sharing rules and user can see all the accounts in the org but they can only edit their own records. So what I have built, the use case is you know, the business user uh, basically want to uh, secure a particular account record from the other users. So right now uh, it's viewable for all the users and uh, changing the sharing setting for all the users and mo modifying the profiles is not an easy way for the large organizations. So that can be the use case where uh, this can be this particular application can be used. So I have two users set right now in my org which are having the sales standard platform user license because they, I just want to demo you how, how they can access the account record. So currently I am logged in with the admin account but let me log in with user 1. So I am on the classic screen right now but uh, uh, the, I will also explain how it works with the lightning experience. It's the same way yeah, it's working in the lightning as well. So I am I logged into user one and I am going to the account section now. Now as I explained, uh, everybody can see all the accounts present in the org as my uh, org wise setting is set to public read only. So let me go to one of the record that I own basically this test account uh, I have this particular user is owned. So let me open it. So as you can see account owner is user one. Now this particular user want this account to be accessible only the user who have password to access this. So here you can see I have set up the two fields. One is locked and another is password. I will explain what those are while explaining the code. So in this particular say if uh, the user wants to lock this particular account here he simply needs to click on edit and he will put he will check the checkbox and he need to enter the password. For this demo purpose, I'll be uh, setting the password as welcome123. Uh, it's currently set to the limit of 10 characters, but uh, this can be anything. And this is basically the encrypted field. So if I say click on save, you cannot see the password. It's the test encrypted field. Let me go to the accounts tab now and try to open the same account. Oh, I can access but why so i have built the application such that if the record is owned by the user who is logged in you will directly see the detail page now i'm logging out from this particular user and logging in with the user 2 here you can see i logged in with the user 2 now clicking on accounts and this is the record that for which we set the password earlier here you can see it's asking for the password. I don't have access to the record right now. As a user too, I cannot see the uh, record detail page of uh, that particular account. I am simply putting any of the password right now. If I click on unlock, it's simply not allowing me to enter the detail page. So I am entering welcome123 and once I click on unlock, that's the screen where we are landing right now. So it's the detail page. If you go back again, it will again ask for the password. So this is how it's set up. So it, it can be the case where you want to, if the business want to hide a particular account from other sales rep, they want to only give the access to a particular account if they have the password. So similarly, if I move to the lightning experience, I'm on the all accounts section right now. And uh, this is the account which was created by user one yeah so here you can see it's asking for the uh, password the same way it was asking for the classic so similarly if i put uh, the any of the password here it's simply blocking the access i'm entering the password now and if i click on unblock you can see i have landed on the account detail page 
so if I scroll down all the account related uh, list are there and all the details section is there now as we don't have edit permission I doubt yes so this particular user to cannot edit this particular account because he is not the owner of this particular account now if I switch to user 1 I'm going to accounts now I am removing that locked checkbox and clicking on save if a user 2 tries to open the same record he will be simply uh, grant access to view that particular detail page so let's test it out that as well I'm logging with the user 2 now I'm going to account section it is this one is uh, with the user user 1 once I click I will be directly navigating to the detail page so this is how it's said because it's not locked so this is how the functionality is currently working now let's move towards the, how the application is configured and logging out from the user for this particular implementation we have created the visual force page uh, so all the code base is already uploaded into the github and provided the link in the description you can go through it and uh, check how it's configured but uh, here i'm giving you the brief explanation how it's set up so here you can see the name of the visual force page is record locker it's using the standard controller as account because we want to override view button uh, with this particular visual force page then lightning style, style sheets are set to true because we want to have the lightning view in the user mode to the lightning version also we are using the record locker extension this is the apex class that we are using for this particular functionality uh, so everything is set up. Uh, uh, we are rendering the screen if uh, the user should be asked with the particular to for the particular password or he should be directly navigating to the detail page So navigating to the detail page. We are simply using apex detail tag over here if you can see and uh, we are using the attribute called locked and by using this particular variable value we are rendering the two sections either we should uh, ask for user for uh, entering the password or we should directly give the detail page so that's all uh, logic we have in the visual force page moving towards the apex class uh, the logic is very simple over here as well so uh, the controller dot add fields is something like that if these uh, uh, if you want to access the fields which are not used into the standard controller visual force pages but you want to refer them in the apex class then you need to use this particular syntax so to uh, bypass the uh, this from the test classes i just added the if condition if, uh, if it's uh, in, uh, not in under the running test then the controller it's adding the these two uh, three fields basically password under locked and the owner id basically and then we are simply checking if the account record is locked and the account owner is not the locked logged in user because we are um, bypassing this particular uh, password input uh, screen uh, from the user who is already owner of that particular account and uh, on click off after uh, inputting the enter by the user and when you click on the unlock button uh, he will simply uh, the this particular action will be click uh, called and if the account uh, accounts password and user enter passwords are not matching then we are showing the error as password is not correct this is very simple logic uh, this is all from the visual force and the apex class now uh, on the configuration side of the account we have override the view button of the account uh, object if you see I, I'm on the buttons uh, links and action section of account object if I go to the view button I simply override this particular button with the visual force page we have so the page is over here because we have implemented standard controller over here that's why it's available over here if you do not use the standard controller this will not be available under this particular standard classic salesforce classic override i'm using the same classic override for the lightning as well as well as for the mobile so that's why when you open a record in the lightning mode as well this visual force gear page gets opened another important thing is on the account record there are two fields i have created uh, and those are password and is lo uh, and locked so i'll i will show you how the password field is set so it's basically the test encrypted field some things you need to understand over here so if the user is not having view encrypted field permission 
those users can't see the data under this particular password field so there is a uh, encryption mechanism from the salesforce end we are not going through that but uh, this password can be accessible into the apex code and apex code decrypt that data and check uh, uh, what's the content inside so under the apex we get the data of that and we can compare the user password and the password present into the account record so you can uh, you cannot also uh, do the sockle if you don't have a view encrypted field access so i'm masking this character by star and the length is 10 characters so that's all regarding the password field and uh, the locked is the simple checkbox we have put so these are the only two fields right now and if you want to install it in your org and play around with it so once you deploy all the code that that is present uh, inside the git you make sure to have to assign this page access to the profiles that you want to test out so for that you need to go to the visual for space sections click on the security for the record locker page that we have implemented and put all the profiles that you want to give the access to so currently i have all selected all the profiles because it's my developer org but in the business it's, uh, it's something different that needs to be configured so this is all we have configured now the thing is why i followed the visual force approach and why not the lightning custom component so that is uh, for having the another video so you will be shortly getting that video and you you can click that from the uh, i button over here and then uh, there is the thing uh, why i implemented and not implemented the custom component because uh, the lightning uh, javascript can be easily modified through the browser i will be also explaining how you can simply manipulate the uh, output and you can grant have the access to that particular detail page so that's all for today's session so do do not forget to share this particular video subscribe and hit the like button that's really motivate me and stay tuned for the more such kind of videos thank you